um good morning viewers uh, welcome to timgari at jala info blog we are here for continuation of our previous interview yes, with the undergraduates um we are here this morning at jala university jala campus to cover a very historic auspicious and memorable ceremony which is the postgraduate ceremony as we know this is a ceremony that serves as a fulfillment upliftment in the realm of academia for students after completing the undergraduate studies as usual we are here to get the views emotions and feelings of parents family members friends well-wishers who are here to grace this glorious ceremony we are here to meet with them get their views and feelings about this event so my team and i will be taking you through this glorious ceremony so once more welcome these are this is the outside view of the ceremony of the postgraduate convocation we are now at the main venue where the convocation will take place as you can see the, the, the awaiting graduates are all here family members are here friends are here well wishers as well and of course the postgraduate team will soon be here as you can see this is the venue people are seated they are, uh, they are they are gladly awaiting this event what will come out of this event so stay connected stay tuned as team gary we are here to uncover all the happenings at this remarkable ceremony so this is just the inside view as you can see people are all seated you know happily waiting for to cheer up their family members so brace yourself as we uncover what awaits this event so thank you as we are taking you guys through the main hall the main entry point you know this is the point where um, the, the postgraduate team will be seated possibly the president and other dignitaries will soon be here to ensure the possession of this event kick start so get ready as team gary uncovered all the happenings at this glorious event so this is a landmark celebration as you celebrate your success we also celebrate the university's success the theme of this year's congregation is the university at 60 the achievements, challenges, and problem-solving attempts. The master of ceremony will be the University Marshal, Professor Patrick Sawyer. After the master's procession, we also witness the PhD candidates' procession. Special thanks to Avisel, the leading mobile company in Sierra Leone, for supporting this program. And thank you so much to AYV, Media Empire, for showing this program live on their television channels and also streaming it live on their Facebook page, AYB Sierra Leone. You can also get this program live on other radio stations across the country. The congregation includes masters, MPhil, doctorates, and postgraduate diplomas. 
You made no mistake to choose Jala University as your university of choice. Dean of students of both campus, Mr. Sheku Aruna Mana. The next procession is the PLD candidates procession. We want to recognize our host, our primary chiefs in our host communities. You are very welcome. Mr. Batilo Matia Rai at the commentary booth. You can hear me live on AYV television and radio. Um, so as we continue with the session, we are now at the main venue of the okay, convocation. So we won't forget the views of parents there and family members and present here so we don't see with sister good morning yeah good morning uh, you could tell viewers that uh, your name and uh, why make you there so um na my name is Yan Mara. I there for camp supports my younger sister with the graduates they achieve a master's degree today how you feel for dinner here this morning because we know say this now a moment we are in it can full of mixed feelings so how you feel for dinner here this morning uh, I feel honored, I feel excited anyways. Okay, so which message you get out there for like parents the way the family can get such occasion where not you want for witness? How which message you get? Uh, I just want to tell the parents them say then get for make themselves available because this now so, na special feeling where person they get where not they ever get again alive. So whatever thing where you they do this now the time where you need for come and celebrate a young one or you your family whenever they get them kind of occasion there because then self go feel loved, then self go see then, then self go feel belong. So now that thank you very much. Enjoy the occasion. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Your name again? Uh, my name is Ahmed Mana. Okay, Mr. Mana, um, um I know we've been here for the postgraduate um, convocation, so viewers would like to know what you feel inside your emotions about the day's progression. Well, it's been a long time because I was here some uh, 10 years ago. I came here again to accompany my wife, who is uh, earning a degree in, uh, in finance. Okay, it's, it's good. Congratulations to your wife on behalf of our team, eh? So, um, what's the, the, the advice or what do you want to say to people out there concerning educational background on a postgraduate um, um, attaining? Well, I would choose Dala any day, any hour over any university in Sierra Leone. Okay. I got all my degrees uh, at Dala University and I think Dala University is the best in Sierra Leone and I would choose Dala any day, any time above any other university in Sierra Leone. And then lastly, what would be your advice for those who've just graduated um, based on undergraduates in, adv in advancing or pursuing higher degree or higher courses like PhD and Masters? It's, it's, for now, education in, 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 in Sierra Leone is about money. So it's, it's difficult. If you have the sponsorship, then you can go for a higher degree. But if you don't have them, you have to wait until you get a job and try to further your studies. Thank you very much, sir. Um, so they would go out there for get more fees from family members, parents and well wishers. So we don't see with mommy. Yeah. Good morning, ma. Good morning, dear. Um, you go tell viewers that uh, your name. Me and Balkis Kamara. Um, you go tell her like why you there in support of Udamik you there. Maybe you there in support of you 
be keen or you know your family members and all. So we tell her why make you there. And then support of my sister when I'm mama see Kaba, we study masters in education. So how you they feel for dinner? Because we know say na a moment we are in the key full of mixed feelings, you know. So man can they, you know, it can so emotional in a way that he can even cry in moments of then the, the, the circumstance there. So how you they feel for dinner at Jala University at this kind of remarkable ceremony? Oh, I feel good. I feel blessed because of the proud way don't come inside the family. So I'm happy for them. I feel good because see different type of people with calibre, low calibre, low class, all sorts of people, they graduate here and I bless it. Because some of them, they never make them up. Not so because they don't get money, but the manpower behind. But some of them also, they never make them up due to blessing and due to some help from different different areas. So I'm happy for the all. I hope for wish you all the best. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy your day, man. I'm going to for your name. Me and Mr. Joseph Pomai. All right, Mr. Joseph, we know we are going to see you today. We want to know why make you there. Well, I'm uh, in a very happy mood because my boy, my boy, my son, he got for graduate, you know, as masters in community development. So it's a joy being here. So being your boy, I hope say you don't be a, a, a stepping stone today now in life. You know, it's a remarkable thing in life. You know, so where do you go send out to people and they have where you go advise them for let them go continue for support and picking them? Now, a pride if you get your picking where they go for graduate today, and I go really encourage parents then for let them pick it for me they can learn. If you then I had this day, make you see the amount the people the way they you know looking at their age, you go, you go, you, 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 it's a very happy mood, it's a very happy day. So, thank you very much, mister. Thank you so much. This is titled Integrated Disease Surveillance and Response. IDS have data as a platform for monitoring malaria and fibril illness and seeking behavior during public health emergencies in Sierra Leone. Yeah. Mrs. John was supervised by Professor Kazuno Mohamed Toroma, Professor Richard Wordsworth, Professor Iabebi, and Professor Moses Okari. Mrs. George attended the Bo Commercial Secondary School Bo, holds an ordinary diploma in community health laws in 2007, from the College of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences, University of Sierra Leone, a Bachelor of Science degree in honors, first class in Nutrition and Dietetics from the Line University, 2012, a Master of Public Health degree in Specialty in Public Health Medicine in 2016. Mrs. Justice is examining the integrated disease surveillance and response data to determine malaria's long term trend and the seasonal variations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you a candidate who has identified as worthy to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Public Health. to estimate Lassa fever infections and mortality in Lower Bamala Chiefdom Kenima District. This can see where you Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you a candidate, Emmanuel Sahiki, 18039. I do. This is title. Adoption and effect of improved cassava production technologies yes. School of Agricultural and Food Sciences.
reception points. Um, so we are here to get more views from the Guardians. We have seen one lady here. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, please. Good morning. Um, so can you please tell viewers your name and your specialization? Viewers, please meet Rebecca Bundo. I am a um, graduate from Jala University today, Masters of Public Administration. I am pleased to meet you guys. I am pleased to be part of this congregation. And I feel happy, can't you see? <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel for you to be able to witness this remarkable day in your life? Oh, this is one of a milestone in my life. I considered it a, a journey that was not easy, but um, concluding it um, makes it all a good one. And I feel pleased and I want to thank God Almighty for making it possible. I am privileged to meet friends. I am privileged to even meet you guys as bloggers of this university. Okay, so why do you choose Jala University for your postgraduate studies? Oh, can't you hear from um, what you've heard today? You can notice that I am part of the 60th um, congregation ceremony of Jala University and not only as what? As a guest but as a graduate. And it makes it all a difference. I am happy. Wow. So what message do you have for graduates out there who are yet to choose Jala for postgraduate studies? Hmm. Graduates out there guys out there who are not even graduates, I want to encourage you all to make a choice, make a step further if you are a graduate, undergraduate, make a step further to come and gain knowledge more. If you are not yet have decided to do any course, I am encouraging you guys, come to Jala University, it's one of the oldest universities that can give you, that can impact in you what you want and what you deserve in life. Thank Congratulations! You. Thank you. Are the audience would like to know your name, please? Of course, I'm Jane Mustafa. Uh, Mr. Mustafa. Um, Mr. Mustafa Jane, right? Yeah. Um, so, the audience would like to know your, your, your area of specialization, please. Okay, my, for my area of specialization, of course, I read Master in Public Administration, simply MPA. So, why do you choose Jala and this uh, area of specialization? It was not by any mistake, it was a del deliberate something that I planned to read this particular course. It was not by mistake. It was highly calculated from my uh, first degree at Frabe College. So which message are you sending out there to the undergraduates or already a degree holder um, for, who are yet to pursue their postgraduate? Of course, I think all I need to tell them is like, the education we see, education is like a garden. It can only be harvested when cultivated. And when we talk about cultivation, it starts with your individual self. You have to commit yourself, and if you commit yourself to it, you can do it. Is, if, if we can do it, I think others can do it. There is no magic, and there is no other strategy rather than for, for you to be persevere. And when you persevere, you reach the achievement. Thank you very much, Mr. Mustafa. Thank you very much. Welcome. Your name is? I'm Beshe Bangali Lahai. Okay, Mr. Beshe, we want to know the emotions that you're feeling right now concerning the day today. 
Uh, it's very much exciting to be honest with you. Of course, back in home, MSc in that of sociology, major in community development studies, it's a great honor from one of the best universities in Syria, in Jala University. Wow, I can see how you elaborate the essence of being at Jala University. So why do you choose Jala University to do your postgraduate studies? <laughs> in as much as we always go in for the best. Throughout my journey in academia, I have always yearning for the best in academia. That is more the reason I saw you feel that Jala University is the best place for such education that we want for. Our okay. explanation is very concise. So what do you have for those out there for undergraduates who want to pursue their postgraduate course and which university or what do you advise them to choose the Jala University to pursue their course? Like I said earlier on, Jala University has the best institution in Sierra Leone. Each and every human who wants to get the best in academia would want to come to Jala University. I even believe that is more the reason why in such most of the other areas in academia we have higher students in more especially sociology, community health development and the likes. But Jala University is the best. So we always yearn to attend the best institution in our career. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Congratulations. The audience and the viewers would like to know your name, please. I'm Aya Antina Conte. I'm a journalist and also I graduated with a Master's in Peace and Development Studies. Right. Thank you very much. Um, why do you choose Jala to be your postgraduate? Well, I think I was looking for an institution where I can easily do my work and also having my studies at ease. And I looked around and because I wanted to do a course around um, peace and development and Jala was, I would say, a nearest campus to me, so I decided in doing it there. So how do you feel to witness this occasion today? Well, it's a great experience considering the struggles, the time you spend, sleepless nights, doing assignments, doing presentation and all of that, and at the end, you achieve what you dreamt of. I think that's a great thing, and I'm super proud of having this degree today. So what message are you sending out here to graduates who are yet to pursue your postgraduates? Well, what I would want to tell them is, first, you have to be determined, because if you don't have the determination to do whatever you want, you can't achieve your dreams. First, have the determination and be ready to face whatever challenge and try your best to overcome some of those challenges. All right. Once again, congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you. Madam, can you please tell us your name and your specialization? Yes, I am Dr. Mrs. Angela Magdalene George and I was awarded the Doctor of Philosophy in Public Health. So, um, so why do you choose Jala University to do your public health study? Jala University is my alma mater. That was where I did my first degree, my undergraduate degree, in which I, got, uh, I graduated with first class. I also did my master's in public health. So definitely I had to enroll for my PhD. So how does, this, how does it feel for you to be able to witness this remarkable in your life? I feel thrilled, I'm elated, I'm so excited to have been present for this ceremony because it has been a long awaiting celebration and I am grateful to God for life and health. So what message do you have for graduates out there who are yet to choose Jala University for postgraduate studies? My first message goes to our young ladies. I want to encourage you that ladies can do it. If as young as I am, being awarded a Doctor of Philosophy in Public Health, then every girl in Sierra Leone can do it. And also to all candidates out there who are yet to choose what university to enroll, I encourage you to come to Jala University. You have the best that you require that will make you the best also in the corporate society. Thank you. Congratulations, Maria. Honored. Thank you.